There is a heated debate going on between two states. It all started when the Wisconsin Department of Tourism website used an image of a mitten to represent Wisconsin earlier this month. Mm -hmm. Scandalous. Yeah, and needless to say, Michiganders weren't too happy. News 8's Pauline Lee joins us live in the studio with more on the mitten state debate heating up right here at home. Well, Wisconsin claims they use the mitten image all the time to describe people where they live. Just hold up the hand, describe, works well. Um, when the mitten image on Wisconsin's website, Michiganders were shocked to say the least. Now it's a friendly rivalry between the states to determine who is the real mitten state. It all started with an image of a mitten on Wisconsin's tourism website. That's got Michiganers upset. We were shocked. We were amazed. We, we couldn't believe it that our friends in Wisconsin would do this because everybody knows there is one mitten state, and that state is Michigan, pure Michigan. Right there. There we are. Dave Clements of the La Crosse Convention and Visitors Bureau will tell you the same story, just the Wisconsin version. Well, Wisconsin, of course. I mean, look at All right, here we are. Here's Green Bay. Here's Milwaukee. Here's Madison. And over here is La Crosse. I mean, everybody knows that. And Wisconsinites seem to agree. There's only one clear mitten state. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> it's totally Wisconsin. If I flex my pinky <laughs> finger out, it becomes Wisconsin. This is the perfect shape of Wisconsin. If it was Michigan, it would be two hands. Do they? I mean, unless they forget about their Upper Peninsula. That's all I'm saying. Obviously, <laughs> Wisconsin. So what about that Upper Peninsula? How does that fit in? Wisconsinites don't seem to think that mitten fits just right. You'd have to break or dislocate your thumb severely in order <laughs> to represent the Upper Peninsula. You could maybe pull it off with the Lower Peninsula, but the UP, no. Those who live in Michigan, we've used both hands uh, to represent both the Lower and Upper Peninsula, even though the Upper Peninsula hand's a little bit different. Give me a break, okay? You know, it's, it's one hand, okay? If you're going to do both hands, how do you point to where you're from? That's what it's all about. Now, some people think this rivalry has to do with our state's sports. Packers have been doing so well. Badgers beat the Spartans this past weekend. Wisconsinites think Michiganders are just upset and they need something to pick on, so they picked on the mitten. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Pauline. It looks like the official mitten state title could soon be settled once and for all. Yeah, both state tourism agencies are launching a website so people can vote for themselves on who they think the real mitten state is. Now, if you'd like to vote, you can head to whoisthereallmittenstate.com. That's a real website, too. Yeah. Michigan is wagering a basket of fresh fruit in exchange for Wisconsin beer and cheese, of course, for whichever tourism agency wins. Can't use the mitten to type that in, though. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not going to work so well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, money talks.